It is so cold. It's so windy. It's ridiculous. So what's the date today? Today is Thursday, December 15th. Happy Vlogmas Day 15. Yes. Past the two week mark. Thank goodness. Still going strong. You guys know I kind of fell off for like what a day. I think I missed like one day. Well, I still vlogged, but it was like a 20 second vlog. So it didn't count. But oh my gosh, I am freezing right now. My car is warming up because my car is old, not gonna lie. Like, I need a new car, but I just really don't want a car payment right now. I'm gonna be real. This is when adulting really kicks in. <laughs> I have like, you know, bills, student loans, other people's bills. Um, but yeah. So, I need to wait till my car kind of warms up because it is freezing. All right, um, it's, it's so windy. But I want to stop by this thrift store kind of place. And I haven't been to a thrift store in a while. You guys know that. I used to love thrifting because that one time I found that uh, Moschino jacket. I found it for like a dollar and it was worth like, what was it like a thousand or fifth or like $1,200? Oh, so you guys know after that if you've been watching me for a while after that I was like obsessed with thrifting and I stopped like I just I was just like I Don't know what happened. I just stopped thrifting. But anyway, so My friend was there the other day was it yesterday. Yeah, and she saw a Prada wallet It's like a vintage Prada wallet for $80 so I think I'm gonna go check it out before I have to go into work and I really don't need a wall. Actually, I, I lie because I'm still using my J. Crew wallet that kind of just like folds like this and it's hot pink and I love pink so I really don't care but this really is like just getting so old and um, it's just like a summer color and I'm kind of like maybe I should invest in something else. So I'm just going to stop by and look at it. If I like it, then I'll pick it up. It's only 80 bucks. It's vintage so... Um, oh my gosh, it's only between my teeth. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at it, see how the condition is. But eighty dollars for a vintage Prada wallet, I think, might not be too bad. All right, so I am putting on this Makeup Forever Plexi Gloss. I love the applicator on this. It's really different. It's kind of like, it's cut out in certain ways, which I'm not exactly sure why. Do you guys hear the wind? You might not, because you probably hear my car, but it is so windy outside. I've been wearing this lip gloss like crazy. It's the Makeup Forever Plexi Gloss in 104. It's like the perfect nude that's not too nude. It's like a pinky brownie nude, like every other lip color that I enjoy. Pinky browns are my absolute favorite. And this gloss, it's not sticky, but it's tacky. So it wears really, really well. I have some glosses that just like disappear in like 20 minutes. But if your hair gets stuck in it, it'll get stuck in it because it is that more tacky a little bit long wearing gloss so oh my gosh i'm freezing oh all right so my car's a little bit warmed up now i'm going to head to this thrift store they open at 10 and then after that i'm going to shoot to work so oh my goodness oh and i did not go to the gym this morning i just was not feeling it last night late last night after i um stopped vlogging and i edited the uh the vlog already i for some strange reason had this urge to just kind of get rid of a lot of clothes that i have i've been doing it i've been like getting rid of things in my wardrobe and i started organizing everything because a lot of my clothes my winter clothes and my summer clothes were still kind of mixed in together so now i'm going to have my winter clothes in one closet i'm going to try to um that's kind of like my 
my plan in my head but we'll, we'll see how that works because my room like I said I moved back to Pennsylvania in May my room is still a work in progress so I know everyone is wanting a room tour it is still under like it's the process has been real because I would get things I didn't like it and I would change it and I'm like oh I really want to change the color of my room now and I'm just like I don't know what to do I'm horrible at like interior design decorating anything like that so that's why it's been taking so long like I can't make a decision it's like horrific all right so why does my seat move back so much okay so I'm going to head to this sort of thrift store and we'll see if I end up picking up that wallet just left the thrift store turn that down a little bit and they ended up still having the vintage Prada wallet there so here it is it is black which hello I always wear black and it will match everything and I already put some stuff in it and I was looking at it I was like okay it's $80 but it's vintage Prada and the leather is still very good there's not too many scratches on it there's like some slight scuffing like if you hold it at a certain angle because you guys know like the leather if you hold it at specific angles in the light you can kind of see more scratches than others but like overall it's pretty decent and it was under a hundred dollars it was eighty dollars and I figured I would get so much use out of it there is a little bit of wear on the edges but I'm just gonna probably touch that up with I don't know if they do it with Sharpie I gotta watch uh, Miss Philly I got I should actually message Miss Philly and see how she touches up her edges of her bags and wallets Ash, if you're watching, maybe I'll just message you on Snapchat or something. Anyway, so yeah, 80 bucks for this Prada wallet. And again, like I said, there are minor scuffs on the corner. I'm probably going to Snapchat Ashley, which is Miss Philly here on YouTube. She does a lot of thrifting and um, she resells bags and wallets and stuff. And she's really good at, or she knows what she's talking about when it comes to like touching things up and cleaning things up. So I'm so excited for this purchase. I think it was a well spent $80. I'm gonna open it up for you. There's four card slots here at the top, which actually works out perfectly because I only carry four cards. I have a credit card, my debit card, and my two IDs. And then it opens up here like an accordion on the bottom. And there is a zipper for change. But what really, really sold me is, do you guys see how large it is? It's a fairly long and wide wallet um, so what's even cooler if I don't feel like carrying too much my iPhone 6 fits right in the back pocket it's there's so much room in here it's so roomy I love it and I love how compact it still is and I can fit everything including my phone like what like who knew a vintage Prada wallet would be able to fit an iPhone 6 or seven, a seven could fit in here too. So I, I honestly think a seven plus would probably fit in here too, because it's so big. You guys see that? It's just like really large. My phone fits in here and I'm so excited because when I don't want to carry too much, I can just throw everything in here. I think this was, again, like I said, $80 well spent and I'm so glad I got it. I'm so, I'm so glad I came here and yeah, I just need to touch up the edges and that's pretty much it. It's um. They authenticated it and everything. So, yeah, I'm super excited about this. And it was such a good deal. And I love vintage stuff. I think when something's a little bit more worn in, it's actually kind of nicer. And this is still in great condition, if you guys can see. So I'm excited about this. I'm going to head off to work because I'm running late. I mean, I'm not late, but I wanted to get there a little earlier. But no big deal. So I will see you guys later. When I finished work and now I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic. It is sort of rush hour, I guess. But I have decided to, sorry, I don't know if the sun's gonna be like blinding you guys, but I've decided to stop by Trader Joe's again to see if they have those chips still, because I still wanna find them for my one subscriber if, if they even have them so I want to stop by Trader Joe's and I also want to pick up some cookie butter if you guys have never tried the Trader Joe's cookie butter um, I think you can just eat it by the spoon I think it's what a lot of people do but then you can also do other things with it so I want to bake something tonight and 
It's gonna be like a little surprise for Zach. But what is the hold up over here? I'm about to just go this way. Okay, sorry about that. Like the traffic is just insane. Everyone's merging together. So I just took like a slightly different way, but yeah, I want to bake something for Zach. He's had a long week of work. He's been working a lot and why are you moving? Anyway, so I want to do something nice for him. We are exchanging presents this weekend. We're going to our Christmas dinner. I'm really excited about that, but I, I want to surprise him with a little something else. left Trader Joe's and all I picked up was the cookie butter let me show you really quick cookie butter from Trader Joe's so I got that because it's obviously the main ingredient and now I'm at Michael's because I want to pick up some melting chocolate but I want like I think I want to pick up red I would just go to the grocery store but I don't know if they're, if they're gonna have different colors so I know Michael's has them so I'm gonna pick that up and I haven't decided if I want to do cake pops or just cake balls because cake pops I'm gonna have to pick up these sticks and something to wrap them in like a like a cellophane and then ribbon but if I just do cake balls I can just kind of throw them into like a nice Christmas tin it'll be easier on me and it'll be easier to have them set because when you do cake pops you have to like get styrofoam and stick them in the styrofoam so they can dry and set so I think I'm just gonna do normal cake balls and um, it'll be the same exact thing just not on a stick oh my gosh look at all this washi tape oh. you guys you remember how obsessed I used to be with washi tape yeah can't be doing that anymore I have so much stuff um, oh ribbon all right where's the baking I think that's over here Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. The camera's not picking it up, but it's like a, a mint green. That's pretty. Okay. Holiday. Okay. Let's see, I think it should be, oh, I should get like some Christmas sprinkles. Here we go. Um, should I put them in little like mini cups? Or should I just throw them in a box? I should just throw them in a box. Like a cookie tin, like a cookie box, you know what I mean? Alright, they're on sale for $2.49. I think I want to get white or red. Don't tell me they don't have white. Really? They don't have white? What's this? Bright white, perfect. Bright white, how many bags? Two bags? I guess two bags. I don't know, I'm gonna get two just in case. And then I'll get the red. So two bags of white, red. Oh my gosh, look at these molds. Let's see if they have a cute cookie tin here. So it can be like a one-stop shop. Oh, that would be super cute. But then I would have to line them up. Huh. Let's take a let's take a peek. Alright, here's what's left. This is super cute. So if I did, would they fit in here though? If I got those little silver wraps, I can put a cake pop in each and line them up. And here. Something like that. Or ooh. This is so cute. I wonder if they'll fit in here. I guess it depends on how big I make my cake balls, right? That would be so cute. How much is this? This is a cute one. $3.99, so two bucks, it's 50% off. That's cute. Mm. This one's cute. What do you guys like? Can I get a couple? Oh, this is kind of fun. You can see through the Santa belt. There's a mini Santa belt. There's a big one. See, I was thinking 
These are really cute though. I think I can just line them up and have them. Oh, that'd be so cute. But then there's these. Just like a tin. I don't know what I should. Oh, maybe I should. Okay, I'm gonna get this and then make a bunch. And then Zach can bring them home to his family. That would be cute. All right, everyone. So I already made the cake mix. I put it in the pan. Um, here's the bowl. If you guys don't have one of these silicone spatulas, you need one of these because it literally just scrapes every just bit of the cake mix, brownie mix, whichever mix you're using. Because before I was just using a spoon and I'd just be scraping and scraping, but this just kind of scoops up every little part of it. So if you are a baker and you don't have one of these, you need one. And you can use it for so many other things too, but I love scraping the bowl to put it in to the actual cake pan. I'm using a glass pan here. But I want to take a second to show you guys my little baking stash. I totally forgot I had all this. My mom actually told me that I still had all this. So this is my styrofoam board. Uh, the oven is still preheating, so I'm going to wait to put that in. Um, this is my little styrofoam board if I'm doing cake pops, which I don't think I'm going to do cake pops. Uh, what else do I have in here? Let's see what's in here. So I have a bunch of these just cupcake sleeves. I have a bunch of Christmas ones with little picks. I haven't used those yet, obviously. I have little Santa ones which I have the minis right here. I picked up silver ones today, but I think I'm gonna use these for the cake balls because they're little Santa um, outfits. Isn't that so cute? So I have the mini version and then the big ones also. So I'm probably gonna use these. And then I have another set of like cupcake, Christmas cupcake stuff. Uh, this one's really pretty, which I haven't used that either. So I forgot I had all of this stuff to bake with. So I'll have to remember for next year. And I have like just different pastel colors. These are the candies that I picked up today. The, the melting candies. So I can do that. So I have the bright white, the red, you guys saw that. And then some other stuff I have in here. These are the cake pop lollipop sticks that I use if I am making cake pops. So I'm gonna move all this. What I would do is I would stick the cake the cake ball onto this and then once I melt the chocolate and everything to let it dry, I just kind of stick it here and then you'll have the actual cake pop on it. So the, these styrofoam boards are so useful and yeah, I just want to show you guys that quickly and kind of show you guys what I usually use. So yeah, those are the sticks. You can get these at Michael's and then I have so many other just colored melting chocolate, chocolate melts, I guess it's what they're called. I have that one, I have a brown, I have pink, purple, these I just got today, but this is what I totally forgot I had stored away. And then I have some white ribbon also. But yeah, that's kind of like my little Christmas baking stash that I forgot I had. And good thing I didn't pick up more lollipop sticks because I had I had 150 and there's so much in here. So if I do decide to make actual cake pops, I have the sticks here, but I probably won't end up doing that. I'll probably just do cake balls and put them in these little kind of cups. They're so cute. Really quick, I forgot to show you guys these also. These are just little plastic sleeves. So if I did make a cake pop, if I want to give a bunch away or if I wanted to make it look pretty, I would put the cellophane kind of bag over it and then tie it with ribbon. So that's why I have these plastic bags. So that's an idea for you guys if you wanted to make something. I found some more cupcake, a little cake ball, mini cupcakes, I guess. Sleeves, cups, what are they called? Baking cups, yeah. So yeah, that's kind of my stash. This is the KitchenAid, it's just like a hand mixer. It's seven speeds and I love this baby. I also have the actual big mixer. What are those called? I told it's a, it's a KitchenAid also, but they're it's like the big one that you can use for dough and everything. That that one was like three hundred dollars, but this I love because it's a handheld and it's so convenient. But um, definitely investing in the bigger one is always a good thing. But this is good to have just for to make like a cake, just one cake or a few cakes. Love this. I love the KitchenAid. 
Okay, you guys can see here I'm slowly adding in the powdered sugar. It is getting a little dry. Ollie! Percy! Oh, my cats hate each other, I swear. But it is getting a little dry, so I will be adding in some milk in just a second. All right, so I cut the cake into four sections, and now I'm just crumbling it all. And you don't want any big pieces. You want them all to be pretty fine. So this might take a little while. I oh, sorry. I like to do sections because then I can really see if I got all the big pieces. So make sure it's completely cooled down also. You don't want to burn your fingers. Okay, so I don't know if I actually filmed the ending of the cake crumble, but I crumbled it all up and I mixed the cookie butter icing that we made. And I mixed it in and it looks like this. So now I'm just gonna form one inch little balls and I'm gonna put them on this baking sheet that